Say say the word. Vukare. Okay. Spell the word. The modern road makes a vukare. I know it's French, but vukare means nothing to me. Walk me through everything. <laughs> now, vukare comes from Old Square, which is an old name for the French Quarter. So this is like the New Orleans drink, right? Oh, so so uh, French Quarter, like not in France. <laughs> You're talking about in, uh, in New right, Orleans. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. we're Got talking it. about it's New fine, Orleans. Fine. A long time ago. <laughs> I thought this was like Napoleon's nightcap. No. <laughs> 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 this is uh, like the traditional New Orleans drink. It was made uh, by a bartender at the Hotel Monteleone, which is now the Carousel Bar back in like the 1930s, I think. It went out of favor for a long time, and now with the craft cocktail resurgence, it's kind of back in vogue. I don't even know what the main alcoholic ingredient in this is, so uh, let's let's make this one. This is why you Yeah, this, is, this me. is why we okay. have our spirit animal. Trevor. Exactly. <laughs> spirit guide. <laughs> oh, yes. Let him drink the Vukare and then he becomes the spirit animal. Yeah. So, um, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna chill our glass. After you've stirred the drink and you have it at your optimal temperature, by chilling the glass, the alcohol will remain at the optimal temperature for the next few minutes. Man, it's funny because you don't realize how ephemeral the experience of a drink is. It matters whether you have it right as it's served or wait five or 10 minutes. I mean, that's why there's different pieces of glassware. I mean, that's why you chill, that's why you don't chill, that's why you have certain beers and certain glasses. The whole thing, like you said, it's very ephemeral. Yeah, yeah. Why are we using this particular glass? The coupe has become a great way to serve a drink because with this being such a boozy drink, you want to be able to sip on it, but you don't want it splashing around, and it's just the perfect vessel on it. You may see this on the rocks every now and then, but it's basically, it's on preference. But I like it when it's up because there's so much booze in it, and I don't want it to dilute. So this is a classic stirred drink, so we are going to be using a Yari, and first we're going to start off with an ounce of rye whiskey. This is some science here. Mm -hmm. Next we're going to use a ounce of sweet vermouth. Uh, today we're using Antica, which is a vermouth from Italy. Next, we're going to be using a uh, ounce of cognac. We're using pure for all. So, so so far, these are all alcohols, right? This is straight alcohol. So it's a little bit closer to like a Long Island iced tea yeah. type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe a little classier. A, a fancier yeah. way of doing it. Okay, that. all right. I had to look it up because I actually wasn't sure like the whole story of like cognac. Cognac is a brandy. Brandy is made from distilling wine. So it's like you got wine and you reduce it, it becomes port and you keep on reducing it, it becomes brandy? Is that what it is? Also, in what world does it go lower <laughs> on the day? Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's say wine. Yeah, and, 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 and typically, brandy is distilled with fruit. Got it, got it, okay, all right. Okay. okay. Next, we're gonna be using uh, two dashes of uh, aromatic Angostura bitters, which is from Trinidad and Tobago. Is it, I, I thought it was Tobago. Tuba, 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 tomato? He, he got tomato. called out for saying it wrong by yeah. people uh, actually from Tobago. Next, we're gonna use two dashes of uh, Peychaud's, which is a New Orleans bitters. So far, we've got rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, cognac, and two different types of bitters. Correct. It's a lot of booze. And then we have one more ingredient after that. And there's more. We're gonna get some good ice to stir. And we say good ice, I assume, oh, th that is good ice. Those are giant bricks. That is awesome. With these cubes, there's gonna be less dilution because we, we just put you know a bunch of different ice in there. It's gonna melt quicker. So with these cubes, you're gonna have optimal surface area. Perfect. And they're easier to stir as well. They don't you know get all bunched up. I guess it's like, think about the difference between putting snow in there where it all immediately becomes water versus these bricks. You know, yeah. say like, you know, in tiki drinks, you're gonna use shaved ice or, you know, crushed ice because you want the dilution because rum is typically over proof that you use. So we're gonna dump our water out here. Now we have our chilled glass. So then we're gonna take our strainer, we're gonna put it on top of our ERI. And then pour this in. Now it's not, the drink isn't quite done yet. We're gonna wash off our Yari, set this to the side, and we're gonna put a uh, bar spoon of Benedictine. What, is, what Benedictine. is Benedictine? Yeah, Benedictine. That's, like, that's what you put on cuts. <laughs> it's back to you. <laughs> Sorry. It's close. <laughs> it's just a it's a French uh, liqueur that has about 28 different herbs and spices in it. Oh wow! Right, right on. on. So now we have our Benedictine in there, and uh, next, all you need on the garnish is a uh, nice lemon swath. So a zest is like a thin strip and yes. a curly thing, but a swath is you're gonna a, have a thick, wide peel. You have a thicker one and you're gonna have just a little bit of the ribbing in here. Okay. And that's where your essential oils are. And when you express fruit over the drink, you'll get those oils. Rim it here and then just drop so it in. So subtle, like there's so many aspects. Mm -hmm. Who wants to take first drink? Let's Go for it. 
That is extraordinary. Yeah, it's kind of spicy, right? Well, and I didn't think that whiskey could have so many variances of flavor. The Benedictine on top really brings out the herbs and spices of the drink. Uh, the vermouth kind of cleanses your palate, but leaves a little sweet aftertaste. And then the whiskey is really what hits your bloodstream. <laughs> I guess that's the part that really blows yeah. me away, is I didn't expect that the whiskey has never been the most upfront part of any of these drinks we've made. Okay, so we've got rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, cognac, two different types of bitters, mm -hmm. Benedictine and the lemon swath. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I uh, guess who has a new favorite drink? You like that? <laughs> if I can learn to pronounce it, it'll be great. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> bouquet ray. Yeah, yeah. Loves it. How about we all just go to New Orleans right now? Okay, uh, let's uh, do it. Road yes. trip. Okay. Yep, works.